Last time, last time. It has finally arrived. The flash, we took them forever to make it. Man, I'm excited. I wanna see that flash. Speedster. Go back in time. All that stuff that he does. So, I'm ready for it. All right, just finished watching The Flash. And that's a two hour and 25 minute movie, but it felt three hours. So, if you read a comic book and you watch The Flash TV series, you know, he goes back in time sometimes. But this is the basis of this movie here. He visits his mom sometimes, and he's gonna think about probably going back in time to save her and change that outcome. But when he does that, he's gonna realize side effects, like meeting his duplicate self, and also, um, finding out that General Zod on this particular Earth is going to destroy it and there's less superheroes and some of the people he thinks is Batman or Superman isn't that person. So, the beginning of the movie, the special effects was kind of like a, um, I would suggest, like a video game. But it gets better and the movie gets longer into it. Um, Ezra Miller made it a great acting job, man. It's very funny. Um, now, that was perfect. Supergirl was kind of okay in it, but Michael Keaton was a star. I mean, he, he did an excellent job. So definitely check it out, pay that money. Uh, the post scene, it's not that good. It's way at the end of the credits, um, but there's a lot of cameos. So that's my review of the Flash movie.